Hi, I'm Michael, KB9 VBR. When you receive your J-Pole antenna, one of the first questions you probably have is how I'm going to install it. Well, these antennas are very simple and reliable and can be installed in a wide variety of situations. In my personal experience, I've found that you can either use a metal or a non-metal mast without affecting your performance. Uh, the bottom portion of the antenna is the mounting section and this is what you would attach to the mast with a couple of hose clamps. It's as simple as that, but there are a couple of rules for best operation. The first is to keep the antenna at least six feet away from or above any large metal objects. Uh, j pole style antennas are DC grounded, so they will couple with large metal objects if they are too close. So keeping them at least six feet or more feet away or above these metal objects will help keep your SWR or standing wave ratios low. The second item is to use a choke ballon to help keep any stray RF energy from traveling back down the feed line. The choke ballon can be as simple as a coil of coax near the feed point of five turns of coax in a four inch diameter circle. Uh, this works great if you're using a thinner coax like RG8X or RG8U. If you're using something thicker or stiffer like LMR400, that's going to be difficult to do. So I recommend the snap-on ferrite beads. Uh, three of these snap-on ferrite beads near the feed point is sufficient as an RF choke ballon. And as a finishing touch, I also recommend creating a drip loop to help keep the uh, stress off the connector and also seal everything up with good quality electrical tape to prevent water penetration into your coax. If you have any questions, uh, drop me an email at kb9vbr at jpole-antenna.com or visit us on the website at www.jpole-antenna.com. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching and 73.